Welcome back to The Realist Channel on YouTube. My name is Jake McCollum. I've been living in my car for 700 days. I'm a recovering drug addict from eight years of uh, drug abuse, uh, and I've got more than two years clean, and I enjoy documenting my life on this YouTube channel, okay? I have been filming for the past week. Ever since I posted the my, my first day living in my car in San Francisco video, uh, I've literally been, been filming the whole time, and that's not usually what I do, so I'm going to have multiple videos to provide for y'all, and just keep in mind, these videos are a little bit more raw. They're a little bit more intimate and ab aberrant and uh, I just wanted to let y'all know that before we uh, get this uh, San Francisco series started because there's probably going to be multiple videos that I'm going to be putting out for y'all. I'm going to be sitting in this Lowe's parking lot for probably a week editing these videos so uh, number one pray for me and number two I hope you enjoy the videos and uh, without further ado this was my first legit day of exploring San Francisco let's get into it. Okay, look, let me let me explain about the Starbucks, okay? Yesterday was my first like official day in San Francisco where I kind of got to go and explore, but honestly, I spent pretty much a majority of the day just re replying to y'all uh, because I posted the first San Francisco video yesterday, okay? And so I went to this park, Chrissy Park, okay? And uh, I met my, the very first person to recognize me uh, in San Francisco. Shout out Christian. Christian uh, gave me another Starbucks gift card. But I ended up going for a run yesterday. And then after my run, of course, I had to find my designated shower spot here in San Francisco. I ended up finding one at Chrissy Park, so that's good. Free showers for me. And uh, thanks to y'all. Um, I read a lot of y'all's comments and studied a little bit about this city and um, I slept in residential for the first time as y'all saw in, in the beginning of uh, the video. Alright guys, just got to City Hall. That's what that is behind me. Uh, I really have no idea what to do in this video. Uh, might just, you know, ex explore San Francisco, but I'd really like to take y'all along with me today. So one of the first places that I want to go to um, is somewhere that everyone pretty much told me not to go to, and it's the Tenderloin. Essentially, the Tenderloin is... Uh, you know, LA has Skid Row, while well, San Francisco has the the Tenderloin. It's where a lot of uh, a lot of the homeless tend tend to stay. got done going through the, the tenderloin and uh, I got stuck at at a red light um, probably the sketchiest red light you could possibly get stuck at to my left I see people in tents just sitting down doing the homeless thing and to my right I see a whole bunch of security guards and then an even bigger group of just like thugs pulling out baggies in broad daylight ex making exchanges getting frustrated frustrated with each other the guards didn't even care and uh i was doing some research last night and i uh found this youtube channel peter santanello he's a local here in san francisco he was saying that people have literally been pooping and peeing in the streets because uh it's currently legal because of covid and uh, the pandemic right now, which is just mind boggling. And then another thing is like people are literally stealing uh, things from from like CVS and Walgreens medicine shops because uh, it's only a misdemeanor to steal under $950 worth, worth of products. On a brighter note though, we just got to like the most 
touristy spot you could possibly go to, uh, Fisherman's Wharf. Uh, I hear there's like a whole bunch of eating spots here and a whole bunch of different shops and whatnot to explore. So let's look around. There's like an upstairs to this place and I don't know if I'm allowed to be up here. There was like some sign right in front of the staircase that said employees only. But uh, anyways, look at this view. That's crazy. I guess show you all around while I'm up here. Apparently this place, San Francisco, has some of the best sourdough bread uh, in the country because of the fog. The fog actually uh, does something to the bread to make it taste better. So I've heard a lot of good things about this place that I'm at right now that I don't even know the name of. So <laughs> uh, I'm going to try and get some lunch here. So this is what I ended up getting. It's like a Got the sourdough bread on a sandwich turkey. Apparently this place is known for its clam chowder, but I don't really do fish, so I got a, a chili bowl as well. By the way, this was $14, which is a little expensive for, for me, but thank y'all, because y'all are helping pay for this. Um, and I'm just exploring this place. So pretty much first thoughts on the, on the chili. Amazing. And the sourdough turkey. time seeing a uh, like seals in, in person or sea lion one of the two they're really funny creatures so I parked in this parking lot and I'm actually really scared about how much this is gonna cost me so how much is it how much is it how much your credit card now are you kidding me the amount shown on the holy crap this machine does not get you $36 are you freaking serious is that a, is this a, is that a joke? $36 to park in this? That, what? Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy. So I'm not completely sure, but I'm pretty sure this right here is the full house house. Uh, could be one over there, it could be ones over here, but I'm pretty sure that one's it right there. Uh, I'm still 
pretty pissed off about that $36 parking. <laughs> but uh, anyways, Full House. I, I never really watched it much. Um, it was one of those shows where I would uh, I would watch it like before going to bed and fall fall asleep to it. But nonetheless, that's uh, that's pretty cool. And speaking of houses, right down the street, there's a uh, a group of houses that are super color colorful right here called the Painted Ladies. We are at uh, Ina Coolbrith now. Um, in case y'all can't tell, I'm kind of just going everywhere I possibly can here in San Francisco today and probably tomorrow and the next day because honestly, it only took one day for me to realize that I don't want to stay here for any extended period of, uh, of time. I already miss the craziness that is Los Angeles and the weather and all of that. So I just found the probably the steepest set of stairs that I've ever seen in my whole entire life. We're, all, we're already high, okay? But we're about to go even higher because this is Twin Peaks. We're about to hike this thing. It is dark and it is cold in feet, here right at Starbucks. Excuse right. you. I'm hungry again. So uh, Emily said that we needed to go and check out this macaroni and cheese place. So this is a pretty cool street. This is it right here though. Uh, Mac D. Oh. Does anyone besides Graham Stefan ever realize that I have to set my camera up and start recording before I open the door to get in? Anyways, let's see what this macaroni and cheese looks like. So I got the build your own mac and cheese. I got the jalapeno as the sauce, shells as the type of pasta. Uh, and there's bacon and chicken inside of this. All right, here we go. First impression. Damn. Damn, that is good. Safeway. In San Francisco, they've got these grocery stores all over the place. It's like uh, a Ralph's or Pavilions in, in Los Angeles. I've been taking my ginormous poops and peas here. Um, and I'm extremely tired now. I would say that we had a successful day one of just going about San Francisco and checking out new spots, you know. So uh, I'm going to get some rest and uh, I will see y'all for day two. And back to modern day Jake uh, can't hear a thing uh, I'm on day two of sitting in this Lowe's parking lot just editing these videos but I hope you all enjoyed day one of our San Francisco adventures uh, for day two and three I might have to combine them I'm not really sure I'm kind of editing as as I go like I said at the beginning of the video I'm not used to having to edit and film kind of like this but uh, like subscribe tell your friend neighborhoods by my about title get your two free stocks valued at could be $1,600 down in the description below. It would mean a lot to me, and I'm sure you like free money. And uh, you know what? You 
you are loved. And uh, we will see y'all on the next one very soon. Diarrhea.